Hey guys, this tutorial is going to show you how to get the preprocessor output for your C++ build in Unreal Engine 5. This is really useful if you've ever wondered what these define statements expand out to, or let's say what UE log does, or maybe what generated body does in a U class. So it's really easy to turn on. All you do is go to your project editor.target.cs file, and we're just going to add one line here, B preprocess only equals true. And then we're gonna build and run and just make sure that whichever target file you modified, that's the one that you're building. So in our case, that's tutorial project editor debug game. So I'm gonna run that. And the editor comes up, but we don't actually need to do anything with this. So we'll just close that out. And back on our project, if we go to our explorer view, and if you open the intermediates directory in your project folder, so I'll just hit reveal and file explorer. We're gonna go into intermediate, build, Win64, tutorial pro or Unreal Editor rather, debug game, and whatever your project name is called. And if you look in this folder, you'll notice every CPP file now has a corresponding cpp.i file. So we're gonna look at our test player controller where that log was. And we'll just open it up in Notepad++ because it handles these large files a little bit better than VS Code. And the first thing you'll notice is this file is absolutely huge, over 500,000 lines long. And most of this is the pre-compiled header that's uh, done ahead of time, so this doesn't actually slow your build down all that much. But we're gonna go to the very last line, which is 673.500. And you can see this is the actual code. Uh, everything above this is what we included. And so you'll notice that everything has been expanded. So this line is what that generated body line was. And this line was the UE log line. Now it's kind of hard to read like this. So I'm just gonna copy paste it into a code formatter here at formatter.org. And I can copy the output and just replace it in our file here so we can take a look. And so if I go up to the top of our test player controller here, you see everything from here down to here. This is all what generated body produces. And you can see it has a few things like when we use super on our methods uh, to call the base class version of a method, you see that's where that's defined here. It does that automatically, which is nice. And a few other things like when you call static class to get the new class representation, that's where that's implemented as well. And some other interesting things like it privates the copy constructors or the um, move constructor rather. And then if we look at what the Defining a log category does, you can see it actually makes a structure inline here that inherits from F log category and gives it the name of the category. And similarly, if you look at what UE log expands to, it's actually pretty big, but basically it just checks that the verbosity is turned on and it will dispatch the actual log to speed it up. So if you're unfamiliar with what the preprocessor actually does, if we go to our CPP file here, Everywhere you have a pound include or a pound define or any of these definitions that were pound defined somewhere else, the preprocessor goes through and it actually just copy pastes this into the CPP file. And then after the preprocessor runs, the compiler will run on each of these CPP files to generate a object file. And if you look at what we did in the target file, this B preprocess only is defined in the base class target rules. And if we open that up, you go to targetrules.cs. See, it's defined right here. There's actually also a whole bunch of other stuff you can turn on in here. So uh, this is in your engine folder. If you look at Unreal Build Tool Configuration targetrules.cs is where it is. But you can look through here. There's a whole bunch of other really useful things you can turn on. And maybe I'll do some videos on some of the more useful ones in the future. But thanks for watching. If you like my videos, please feel free to like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks.